Hello, this is Raymond from buildpix.org and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about automotive wiring connectors. You know when you look out on the internet there's just so many different types of connectors and tools for them, things that go together in different ways. Uh, it can be a little bit overwhelming um, but when I started uh, working on a project of mine to install a new fuel injection system I started looking around and seeing what was out there right now the craze is kind of what's called mil spec connectors people use that term really loosely a real mil spec connector uh, you know military spec um, can be very very expensive a quality one not some cheap knockoff and that's what I found out is at the expense of, of some of these flashy connectors is that by the time you end up buying the tools and the different terminals and the shells and the adapters for the tools and everything else you can be in quite a bit of money and I didn't want to spend the same amount of money on my wiring tools as I did my entire fuel injection system so I started looking around for something that was still good quality still automotive grade that would last and be waterproof and heat and vibration resistant and things like that but not break the bank and so I found the Delphi Metropack connectors and I've, I really like these I, I've, I've really started using them quite a bit and um, I've been very happy I want a, a quick note um, Metropack as compared to Weatherpack both those are Delphi brand names both are very common GM cars use them all over the place a lot of other folks do too I've found that the Metropack connectors seem to have a better fit and finish to them uh, versus the weather packs the weather packs I've found are loose in the shells and things like that they still probably connect fine but I've just found that the Metropacks to me seem quite a bit better and so that's what I'm going to talk about today so what is Metropack? Again, Metropack is a Delphi brand. It's for automotive wiring connectors. There's all different shapes and sizes and configurations. But basically where you start is with your shell or shells. You figure out basically how many wires do you want to connect? You want to connect a single wire all the way up to maybe 10 or so. Um, so you have to determine that uh, on how many wires you want to connect. And then from there you have to figure out the current that's going to run through those wires. So what this is right here is a Metropack 150 series connector. It's three terminals, three pins, so three wires would run through here. This is for a really low voltage uh, sensor um, or a low current sensor. Uh, it's for the flex fuel sensor on my uh, lightning project that I'm putting a fuel injection system in. It requires three wires. The 150 series, which is what the uh, the series starts out with with Metropack uh, will handle up to 14 amps continuous and that's more than enough for this little sensor um, so I've got my my uh, current figured out I've got the number of wires figured out so then I need to put together my connector I need to know all of the parts and pieces to assemble that connector so again I need my two halves um, this side looks to be or looks like uh, the male side and it, it takes these female terminals that go in there, that go on the wire. This, I would call the female portion of the shell, takes these male connectors. And each one of these connectors crimps onto your wire. Um, and then they also have a silicone seal, which seals the wire against uh, dust and dirt and, and uh, moisture and things like that once the connector is put together. Um, so these these seals go around the wire and then they plug in. Here is an example of a crimped connector, a crimped terminal with the seal on there. And basically this would insert into this shell and click in place and then you'd be all sealed up. Just like that if you guys can see it right there. Now, as I mentioned, there's different series of Metropack connectors, and they are differentiated by how much current you plan on moving through your wiring. And so, this is like I said, this is a 150, so it's uh, 
basically, I guess, the starting point, you'd say, of the series. It's, it handles 14 amps continuous. This is a 630 series, and you can tell that there's some large gauge wire that's going to go through there. This can handle uh, 10 or 12 gauge wiring, and then the connectors themselves, the, the entire connector, can handle up to 46 amps continuous. So that's quite a bit of current passing through there. So you want to size by not only the number of wires you plan on connecting, but the current that's going to run through these connectors. The, the Metro Pack has several series, the 150 at 14 amps. There's a 280 series that's good up to 30 amps. A 480 series that's 42 amps. The 630, the one I've got here in my hand. Um, at 46 amps and then they've got an 800 series that's 60 amps so it goes up quite a bit so it should handle any any range of wiring that you would need on a vehicle also when you assemble a metro pack connector you have what's called terminal position assurance and connector position assurance and just as the name implies, a connection or a connector position assurance piece is this little guy right here. And what it does is once you put the two shells together or put the two halves together, you slide this through the connector here and it snaps in place. And that really makes sure that that is not going to come apart. That's a that's an excellent mechanical seal there where that uh, wiring shell or the wiring both wiring shells are not going to come apart at all. So this is the um, CPA, or uh, Connection Position Assurance. There's also a TPA, which is Terminal Position Assurance. That goes on the back side of, of the connector, and it basically just gives the wires these channels to move through, so it keeps the wires from getting tangled up or twisted around uh, or kinked up. You know, it gives them extra strain and relief, and this goes on the back of the shell like that. So not too terribly exciting, but that is Delphi Metropac series connectors. I think they're an excellent solution for someone not wanting to spend huge amounts of money on their wiring connectors, but still get a quality connector that they can depend on and not have problems down the road. I think it's great for us do-it-yourself guys. Uh, I've got a crimper that I really love that cr makes excellent crimps on the wires. It crimps and seals this guy all in one pass. I'm going to do a review on that uh, in a later video, in a later post. I hope this has been helpful, and we will talk to you later. Thank you very much.